Hello. Um, firstly, I've got to say I've got a new light, so it may take me a while to adjust it and get used to filming with it. Um, but I'm hoping that it will mean that I will be able to film at night because quite often um, I can't film during the day because of children's stuff. So little Jim has been ill all week. We were in a and &E at the weekend, um, so I just haven't had a chance to film. They've just gone to bed, so I'm hoping that now's my moment but obviously it means that the light's not so good so I have got a new light and I'm hoping that will help. Also my makeup is not looking great because I put it on at 8 o'clock this morning and Jim's just been um, clinging to me and sleeping on the sofa all day so um, I haven't really had a chance to do anything to it. This is going to be a video on how to use the Hourglass um, ambient light edit palette which weirdly enough they have just announced that they have got a limited amount available back in Space NK so if you're watching this um, this is June 2016 um, you may be able to go and get it um, at Space NK now but it's a limited amount of stock um, and it was an incredibly popular palette so you may already have missed them. Um, when this first came out, I recommended it to loads of people, and then I think non-makeup artist people are struggling a bit on how to use it and how to get the best out of it. I would say that although I use one of these powders, two of these powders, um, without foundation on, it will look its best as a finishing powder on top of foundation. Um, as I talk you through each one, I will show you what I use them for and how I use them. Um, this doesn't mean that this is the only way to use them, this is just me explaining how I get the best out of this palette. Um, I'm going to be using um, two brushes from the Louise Young um, collection. Um, these are the LY51 and the LY51A, um, one of which is synthetic and one which is real hair. I'm also going to use the Daniel Sandler contour powder brush. The, the concept behind these powders is that they're to deliver a kind of soft focus effect on the face which for me I find incredibly flattering and I kind of prefer it to highlighting which doesn't really work for me on my kind of skin tone and quite often when I'm out about I see people getting the wrong colour highlight for their rock for their skin tone so it looks really obvious and unattractive um, whereas I think these powders are a really good way to give a kind of natural attractive glow to the face without looking um, overdone although there is a highlighting shade in there. Now on the back of my palette the listing is wrong I got sent this as a PR sample so it could be that they were just sending out to bloggers ones that they knew they'd printed off on the back wrong um, but it may be worth checking the back of yours. I'm going to tell you now what they actually are. So, starting on the top row, this first powder that I'm going to talk to you about is Dim Light. This is a neutral peach beige shade um, that's due, that um, blurs imperfections and sort of highlights and ra gives a radiance to the complexion. So it's got warm undertones, so if you've got sallow skin or a yellowish tinged skin this is going to be really attractive on it or if you feel like um, sometimes in the summer I just want to warm my skin up a bit but not look like I've put bronzer on, that's when I use this. Um, so you can use it as a setting or finishing powder all over the skin if you want or just in certain areas. Um, so I use it because I have some redness around my nose, uh, thread veins and things around here, I tend to not use this through the middle of my face but I use it um, on the temples etc. So that's where I'm going to use it now. Um, I've got quite pale skin but I have got freckles. I do tend to get um, quite freckly um, cheeks and nose. So it's quite nice to have something that will just give a slight, slight, slight warmth to my temples and things. 
So I always set my foundation. I'm just one of those people, so I'll put this right across the forehead. But you can use that all over the face as a finishing powder. It's just because I have this palette that I tend to use that in one place and another one in the other place. If you wanted, you could just buy the big size of this and it would work beautifully. The middle powder is one of their newer powders, which is the iridescent um, light, high, illuminating highlighter. So it's got more shimmer in it. Um, it's peachy beige toned, so it will um, work on a lot of skin tones and it's really nice for people who find most highlighters a bit much. Um, it's definitely more shimmery than the other powders, but it's not as full on as some. It's got quite a pale shimmer in it, so I'm not sure how this would work on really deep skin tones. The, the thing about this one is you can use it with a damp brush, so if you wanted a slightly more intense highlighter, you could totally um, do that. Um, I'm going to demo that in a minute when I've done my blusher. But I'm going to do a tiny bit on this cheek just so you can see it on its own. I'm using a fluffy brush for that. Now the thing with shimmers is it's hard to see when you're filming whether they pick up or not. Um, as I've said I'm not a huge highlighty fan but I do really like this one. If I'm going out, going to a party, um, going somewhere where I put quite a full base on, quite often the fuller the coverage, the less um, natural glow you get through. So I just quite like that. Um, top of the cheekbones, sometimes over the cupid's bow of the lip, very subtly to make your top lip pout out a bit. Some people would put it down the centre of the nose, you could put it under the brow bone. Anywhere where it's really pretty to have a tiny bit of shimmer, that's the place to put it. So, this one on the end here is Diffused Light and it's the one I use the most and it's the one I have the big size of. It's a yellow tone so it's really good if you're prone to a bit of redness. Um, and if I have to just pick one powder that I'm going to set my makeup with, this is it. So, I set my concealer with this basically and I set my foundation with it. And it gives a really flattering um, glow and although I don't usually approve of shimmer on a mature skin, um, this has... A really nice finish on a lot of mature skin so if you're someone who is a bit older maybe and wants to have a natural glow but is a bit scared of the highlighters that are around at the moment then maybe um, either dim light or diffuse light or one of the other ambient light powders would be a good place to start so the blushes are a bit more tricky here we've got mood exposure um, which is a medium dark pink, plumish tone, and it's really blendable, but it tends to pack a lot more colour than I originally anticipated. So I did have a bit of a shock when I started using this. So it would be really suitable on darker skin tones or someone who likes quite a full on blush. Um, or if you're just a bit tanned. So, I mean, it's a blusher. Use it on your cheeks. So I'm gonna do it on one cheek. <laughs> So as you can see on me, that's quite a full-on blush, but it would look lovely on um, dark skin tones. I wear it when I have a tan. At the moment, probably it's a bit full-on for me, but it is a very beautiful colour. And again, it's got um, some of the ambient lighting powder through it, so it gives off that nice glow, nice finish. In the middle, we have got a more corally pink, um, which is called Luminous Flush. So for my skin tone, this is more of a pretty everyday glow. So I'll do that over here. I've got this lovely drunk man that's moved into the flats behind. The police came out four times for him yesterday. But it drives my dog bonkers. So that is more corally and pinkish, and this is a more plummy tone. So, again, what I really like about this palette is, because this comes up very pink on me, I then get a bit of the yellow tone here. And you can just kind of... blend it out a bit. So, the last one is a soft medium bronze colour. 
um, called Luminous Bronze Light and it is a bronzer as the name suggests so I would use that instead of a blusher in the summer um, or it's kind of a medium bronze with yellow undertones so it is very flattering um, and quite a subtle shimmer so I'd use it instead of a blusher um, and I'd use it sort of where you would get a suntan so because I've done my cheeks I'm going to show you over my temple So if you think about if you stood in the direct sunlight where the sun would hit, that's where you want to put your bronze. I am going to look very odd when my husband gets home. I'm just going to show you a bit more of the iridescent light now that I've got blush and things on. The thing about having a highlighting colour is that even if you're not into contouring, a bit of highlight on the top of your cheekbone is going to make your cheekbones stand out a bit more, which is flattering. And that is it. I hope it kind of explains the best ways to use this palette. Um, I think once you get to grips with it, it is really fantastic. It should last you a lifetime because no one needs to wear all four colours at the same time. But it just means that um, if you've been in the sun, if you're going out, if you've changed your makeup up a bit, you have everything covered. Um, you've got the three on the top row, two of which are top, uh, finishing powders or setting powders, depending on how you use them. And the one in the middle, which is a highlighter, which can be used damp or dry um, and can be really flattering if applied correctly um, and then on the bottom you've got the two blushes and the bronzer which I believe you need to apply quite sparingly unless you're of a very dark skin tone um, but you can build and blend these beautifully and as always if you find that you apply too much blusher you can always just buff it out with a clean brush or blend it with your foundation brush if that's how you apply your foundation. Um, I hope this has been helpful. If you have any questions then please leave me a comment below if there is something that I've not made clear. Um, I've tried to be as clear and concise as possible but if there's something that I've, I haven't made clear or um, not explained right then ask me a question and I will try and answer it. And um, if you have a product that you've bought that um, you're just not quite sure how it works or you need some help with, then let me know and I can help you out. That's the whole point of me being here. Um, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.